My beautiful Sagittarius dragons, welcome to your new moon reading for January 2022, January 2nd. This is the, um, sorry, the new moon is in Capricorn and it's asking us to focus on our goals. So Capricorn is a very practical um, and a very realistic sort of down to earth um, energy. So it's about focusing on your goals, but more long term and also acknowledging your dreams but bringing your dreams down into a goal so it's looking at your dreams in a more realistic manner um also um finding some boundaries and realizing that boundaries actually do give you freedoms so sagittarius please do like and subscribe i do appreciate your support for the channel let's go ahead and get some cards for you guys shall we okay cards for sagittarius please Let's go. Okay, there's two there. Can I get one more? There we go. Thank you. Well, okay, we'll take two. But that's it. No more. Not yet. Okay, so. Well, this, it's funny. In so many readings, um, this year hard work is paying off. And this is New Moon in Capricorn. Like, it just keeps reaffirming itself. This is going to be a very strong energy. This is also um, a super moon. So it's a new moon, but it's a super moon. So it's going to be very close to... Um, it's, it's very close. And so it's powerful. So what you have, adjustments are required. You are good enough. Your hard work is paying off. And conclusions are within reach. If this isn't one of the most encouraging readings I've ever had, there's nothing, It's like, except for some, some sort of adjustments are required. Like, it's like, you are good enough. The, the universe is telling you, right? The spirits are telling you, you are good enough, right? And that it is paying off. So if you're having any doubts, um, this is this is your reading, okay? If it, And conclusions are within reach. You might feel like it's, it's, it's sort of like, um, you don't know why you're doing it anymore or, um, you, you know, it's, you just might feel a little down and that you've lost confidence. Maybe you feel that you've lost direction, right? There might be that there might be some adjustments required to your plan, but you are making progress and you're being encouraged. Let's see what cards come out for you, Sagittarius. Whoa. Oh, Okay. Wow. I love this deck. This deck is like, we just are totally jiving. It's the Light Seers deck. Ugh. Okay. You know what? That's too many, though. Thank you. I know. It's like, well, you said you loved us. Okay. So that's more than enough. I'm really interested to see this. This one's one that fell down on my lap. It's the Seven of Wands in reverse. So yeah, so this is about confusion. And it's funny enough because it's also about sort of weak boundaries. When it's in the upright, it is about standing your ground. There's something or someone in your energy that you're not... Um, it's almost like you're just letting them take advantage. I feel that what I'm, what you see is you're seeing their potential and not really how they're behaving towards you. Okay. I've done it. I've done it. Trust me. Okay. So it's not, um, it's not, it's not criticizing you, but it's just like, it isn't what you think it is. And it's like, how many times are you going to let this person disappoint you, walk all over you, cause you to cry or whatever? Because you're letting them do it. Now, okay, guys, this, I always have to put a disclaimer when I talk about this, okay? If you're in an abusive situation, please go and seek the proper advice that you need because this should not be coming from a tarot reading, okay? You need to go and seek out, you know, lawyers and counselors and all of that, okay? Just because of what we're talking about, okay? If you are stuck and you're not standing your ground because you're dealing with somebody who's manipulative and abusive, you need to go and seek out somebody to support you or somebody's. Usually you need a community to support you, okay? So that's my little caveat. So I don't want anything, please, okay? Do not, this is, you know, <laughs> okay? So maybe that's what you needed to hear. But, um, but adjustments are required and you are good enough. So there's somebody that, 
um, that is taking advantage of your of your kindness. So let's get these um, center cards out. So you have the wheel. So you are good enough. I think as soon as you start to realize and develop that true mm, confidence, right? It isn't it isn't ego in a bad way. You need ego to survive right? You need some ego. You need to feel good about yourself. You just don't walk around thinking that you're the be all and end all, right? So it's like, why can't I have that? You know, there's no reason why I can't have that. Sometimes people say to us from a very young age, oh, you don't deserve this. Or you don't deserve that. Or that's not good enough. And it beats you down. Don't, don't let that Okay, because then you're still letting those things that people say, and chances are they don't even remember saying them, because they're just mean, but they stick with you, okay? So, and it's funny, because what I'm hearing is, you know that saying, sticks and stones will break your bones, but words will never hurt me? That is not true, okay? Sticks and stones will break your bones, your bones will heal. Words cut deep, go into your self-conscious, and create very bad patterns. Even when you speak, your subconscious hears what you say and it takes it in. Your subconscious doesn't know the difference between you saying something to someone else and you saying something to you. That's why um, spiritual advisors say, watch how you speak to other people because that comes back at you. So as you speak it, you keep poisoning yourself. So you need to watch, right? Just what you say and work through your stuff. Okay. You have the nine of swords in reverse. You are getting, um, you're resting and recovering. Okay. As this wheel happens in your favor, you're recovering and healing. Okay. Um, you need to make sure that you're facing the problem. Okay. You need to make sure that you're not turning your back to it. But if the wheel is turning, okay, I think it's turning in your favor. You are moving ahead and it's going to take hard work to do it. The emperor may have to do with, okay, let me get the next card actually. Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is somebody that's in your energy. Okay. Um, so this is something to do with a powerful either group or a masculine energy. Um, this is somebody, someone who is stubborn and strong. And I feel like maybe you feel like you're not good enough for them. Okay, so because a knight came out, so this is somebody else, this isn't you. And this is somebody in your energy. Yeah, and they're affecting you. And they're going to try to not let you do this. Ooh, they're going to try to not let you move on. They're going to try to stop it. So death and rebirth is in reverse here. They're going to be um, coming in and trying to stop it. So they're going to try to block you. Okay, and they're they're going to be repeating their patterns and you're being guided. Don't repeat the pattern. This is your adjustment that needs to be required. Holy crap, Sagittarius. Who is this? Up here. Oh, okay. So hard work is paying off and conclusions are within reach. The Hierophant is here. You need to educate yourself. Okay, you need to find your partnerships and the people that are going to help you get away from this. This is about a wounded healer, so you will heal from this. You need to find your tribe. You need to find your group, okay? There are resources available. Just keep keep going, okay? Even if it's online, right? There are so many resources available, okay? And then you have the Three of Cups. This is, again, finding your community. This is about friendship and support and success. This is about creating positive emotional patterns and growth. Okay. So this is huge. This is a warning. Okay. You need to realize you're good enough not to go back to this. There's somebody in your energy. And even though it's the emperor, it can still be a female. It's just a female with heavy masculine energy. Okay. And they're going to try to stop everything. They're going to come in looking all shiny. No, 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 no. Yeah. Look right here. The choice is yours. The world is in reverse. Okay. So when this is in reverse, this is about you possibly going back to an old pattern. Okay. Now what this is, is, um, it could also be that you're rejecting what you learn right out of fear. 
So guys, you really need to go and find your community. Sagittarius, I don't know who this is for. I don't know. But this is this is pretty big, okay? Like this is about having the need to break this pattern, okay? You are good enough, okay? And you can do it. It feels like you can't. There are days where you're just going to want to like break down and you don't know how you're going to do it. Just get through the day. Just get through the hour, okay? You will. But beware of this because as soon as you start to feel free and as soon as you start to feel amazing, okay, uh, this person's going to come back and they're going to try to stop you from being free. But what it is is you need to work hard on this. Find your community, get educated, override what your brain wants to do. Your brain is going to want to go back to where it's comfortable even though it may not be safe or even though you know it's keeping you stagnant. Okay, guys, please do like and subscribe. Um, you can leave comments, okay? If you wish to leave comments, they don't get published until I say I approve them. I can't answer you unless I approve them, though. So um, please, if you wish to leave a comment, um, please do so, okay? I do read them. And um, until next time, Sagittarius, if this is not your reading, please go pick out something else, another sign in your chart, because this is very specific, okay? Thank you, Sagittarius. I'll see you in your next reading. Stay strong.